Okay, so so far we have talked about the derivative of a constant and a derivative of, let's say, a constant times a variable. So here we have a constant times a variable, but what happens if we add parts to it? Let's say we have an addition operation and we have another function that equals 2. We have a constant. How do you find the derivative of this? How do you find, let's say, for example, the derivative of 3x plus 2? Well, the rule for that is the derivative of the sum of two functions is the sum of the derivative of the two functions. If we have, just like here, we have two functions we sum them what is the derivative of that well the rule says the derivative of this is the derivative of the first one plus the derivative of the second one if we have summation if we have subtraction it is the derivative of the first one minus the derivative of the second one let me give you a couple of examples let's say we have f of x equaling 3x plus 4 what is the derivative of this function well basically the derivative of f of x equaling 3x plus 4 is the derivative of each of them or the derivative of 3x plus the derivative of 4 so it is a derivative of 3x plus the derivative of 4 we know that the derivative of 3x is 3 times the derivative of x so just like here we have 3 times the derivative of x plus 0 4 is a constant and the derivative of a constant is 0 therefore we get a 0 so it is 0 plus 3 times f prime of x we know that f prime of x is 1 so it is 1 times 3 we get 3 because 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 0 is 0, so we get 3. So as you can see, f of x equal 3x plus 4. What we did, according to the rule, we took the derivative of each, the derivative of 3x, and the derivative of 4. We summed them together, we got 3. This is basically the sum rule, or the difference rule, for derivative. Let's look at a negative example. Let's say we have f of x equals minus 9x plus 5. Well, what is the derivative of that? You don't need to worry. All you have to do is to take the derivative of each. So basically, you take the derivative of minus 9x and you take the derivative of 5, you sum them. So f prime of minus 9x plus f prime of 5, basically, it is minus 9 f prime of x plus 0. I think you know why this is like that, and I'm not going to repeat it again, but it becomes minus 9 times f prime of x plus 0. Here we have a constant, the derivative of constant is 0, and eventually you get minus 9. So the derivative of f of x equaling minus 9x plus 5 is just minus 9. Let me give you the last example. Let's say we have f of x equaling 9x minus 5. As you can see, we have a difference right here. In the first example, we had a plus sign. We have an addition operation. Here we have subtraction. We have minus. So what is the derivative of this? Well, you don't need to worry again. All you have to do is to take the derivative of each. Basically, you say it is 9 times f prime of x plus 0, which eventually you get 9. So the derivative of f of x equaling 9x minus 5 is just 9. So the derivative of the sum of two functions is the sum of the derivative of the two functions. If we have sum or we have subtraction, this is the sum or difference rule. Let's check out the fourth rule.